Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Daha Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Heinen Airlines Boeing 787 9 Streamliner in the all red livery in a 1200 scale model. I purchased this model from Choice Toys, which is based out of Oldman Park, Kansas. His website is www.choicetoysinc.com. First, allow me to share with you some information about the history of Heinen Airlines and how they came into existence before I go into detail with this model to the police. Heinen Airlines was established in October 1989 as Heinen Province Airlines in Heinen, China and became the first Chinese joint stock air transport company following a restructuring which occurred in January 1993 and commenced operations on May 2, 1993 and operated under its founding name until 1996 when the Provincial Airline was renamed to what has become known today as Heinen Airlines. Heinen Airlines is also the largest civilian run air transport company as well as the fourth largest airlines in terms of fleet size in the PRC, the People's Republic of China. The headquarters of Heinen Airlines is located in the HNA building in Heiko Heinen, China, while the airline's main hub and base of operation is located on the grounds of Heiko Milan International Airport, which is located approximately 16 miles southeast of the city center of Heiko, while the airline's main international hub is located on the grounds of Beijing Capital International Airport, which is located approximately 20 miles northeast of the city center of Beijing in the enclaves of Chaoyang and Shangyi districts in suburban Beijing capital, China. And the airline's secondary hub is located in Xi'an, Xi'anyang International Airport, located in Huacheng District, Xi'anyang, Shangzi, China. And the focus cities of Hainan Airlines are located at Changsha, Wanwa International Airport, located in Wanwa, Changsha County, Hunan, China. Dalian, Shaoxuizi International Airport located in Dalian, China. Ganjiao Beiyang International Airport located in Ganjiao, China. Hanzhou International Airport located in Hanzhou, China. Lanzhou Zhejiang International Airport located in Lanzhou, China. Sanya Phoenix International Airport located in Sanya, China. Shenzhen Boan International Airport located in Shenzhen, China. Taiwan Wushu International Airport located in Taiwan, Shaanxi Province, China, and Uranji Dawapao International Airport located in Uranji, Xinjiang, China. Hainan Airlines flies to 110 destinations throughout China, Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania with the operating fleet of 188 aircraft, which consists of nine Airbus A330 200s. 13 Airbus A330-300s, 4 Boeing 737-700s, 137 Boeing 737-800s, 3 Boeing 767-300ERs, 10 Boeing 787-8 Dreamliners, and 12 Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliners, including this one. And in addition to the 188 aircraft that currently operates in Hainan's fleet, Heinen Airlines also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 47 aircraft, which includes 9 Boeing 737 Max 8s, 18 Boeing 787 9 Stress Dreamliners, and 20 Comac C 919s. And those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. And as of October 2017, or at the time of this video review posting, Heinen Airlines is one of nine airlines along with ANA All Nippon Airways based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific based out of Hong Kong, Etihad Airways based out of Abu Dhabi, Eva Air based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda, Indonesia based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Qatar Airways based out of Doha, Qatar, and Singapore Airlines based out of Singapore to hold this prestigious honor of currently operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the International Airline Review Firm, Skytrax Magazine. All right, now let's take a look at the front of the box. You see here, you see the Kung Fu Panda uh, title there with the two little panda bears there. That's the computer-generated picture of the aircraft. Sad to tell you, I did not, I passed on that model. There's the aircraft type, the Dreamliner title as well as the Heinen Airlines uh, logo and uh, inscripted in Chinese. I'll get into that momentarily. And then there's the aircraft model. 
All right, and this is the top of the box you see here, the aircraft type, the Heinen Airlines uh, title, the logo, and also the title in Chinese, the computer generated picture of the aircraft. This is the model I'll be doing a review on. And this is the bottom of the box. You see the aircraft type, the Kung Fu Panda uh, the logo there, the Heinen Airlines logo, as well as the Heinen Airlines title in English as well as Chinese, and the model information there as well. As I mentioned earlier, that's the one I decided to pass on that one. Okay, I think Midget HD did get that model. I'm looking forward to seeing his review on that model. Okay. And here is the customized stand that came with the model, what have you. Here. You see that little pattern right there? That black pattern, when you put your model on the stand, will prevent it from being damaged and scratched from paint loss as a result. And then you come here, you see the Glustomized plaque that JC Wings has been doing since 2013. You see the Heinen Airlines logo and the title in English as well as Chinese, the aircraft type, and then there's the model scale component. It's customized plaque. Very impressive. Okay, now you're looking at this plastic bag here, and you see all this little stuff in here. There's two little toothpicks. Then those are the gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned, I'll go into detail for the purpose of these gear replacements for this model, okay? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Heinen Airlines, with all the details here on this boxing you see here, plus the customized model stand, along with the plastic bag that features the gear replacement doors and two little toothpicks, with no further ado, folks, here is the model. Check it out. There it is. The JC Wings Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch dream model and a 1 to scale model in their all red blue. First, allow me to share with you some information about the Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch dream model and how it came into our fleet, which is becoming a game changer as we speak. Heinen Airlines became the second Chinese carrier after Air China to acquire this prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as Heinen Airlines took delivery of its first of 30 Boeing 787-9s that the airline had placed orders for back on March 25, 2015 and received their very first Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliner aircraft which bears the registration ship number B-7880 at a delivery ceremony at, which was, that was held at Boeing's delivery center facility in Airbrook, Washington on June 8, 2016 and touched down at Heiko Milan International Airport in Heiko, Hainan, China two days later on June 10, 2016. Then made its actual debut three days later on June 13, 2016 with its first inaugurated flight from Heiko to Beijing capital and shortly thereafter did validation flights between Beijing capital and Ganzhou and Shenzhen respectively for flight certification purposes but at the same time, giving the maintenance crews, the flight crews, and the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with the aircraft before the actual international launch. Heinen's first inaugural international flight on this aircraft was supposed to take place sometime in September 2016, but was postponed until December 2nd, 2016, and that's when the Chinese carrier officially began utilizing this aircraft, the Boeing 787 9 Strip Dreamliner, on their Beijing to Las Vegas route as the Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner will be utilized on most routes throughout Asia, Europe, and North America as Beijing Capital, Shanghai Pudong, Chengdu, and Changshou will become the primary international gateway basis for this aircraft type with the lion's share of their Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner will operate mostly out of their hub at Beijing Capital International Airport. Hainan Airlines ordered a total of 30 Boeing 787-9 stretch streamlines to add to its fleet to expand its long-haul network and at the time of this video review posting, Heinen only has 12 that are currently operating in their fleet while the remaining 18 are on back order and are awaiting delivery along with an additional 15 that will be leased out as this aircraft will eventually become the airline's official flagship jet line for the Heiko based carrier as Heinen Airlines expects all 30 of their Boeing 787-9s to be fully operating in their fleet by the end of 2021. Now let's talk about the all red livery you see displayed on this aircraft model. On January 22, 2017, prior to Chinese New Year, Heinen Airlines decided to unveil a special all red livery on this particular Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliner aircraft which bears the registration ship number B-6998 which is this one right here 
shortly after it arrived from the Boeing 787 plant facility in North Charleston, South Carolina, for only a brief moment, only to have it painted in the Kung Fu Panda livery, which was finally unveiled to the general public for the first time on January 26, 2017. Now, with all that information out the way, let's get down to the nitty gritty and get down to business. Let me show you all the details on this aircraft, shall we? Let's check it out. Okay, now we're gonna start at the uh, port slot slash left side of the aircraft. We're gonna start at the front part here. You see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number 6998. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports right there, as well as the nose cone, the windshield wipers, as well as the customized cockpit windows. I'll give you a better visual view of those later on in the review, okay? Now we're looking at the uh, upper front part of the fuselage here. We see the Heinen Airlines logo, which is right here. The Heinen Airlines logo is actually comprised of elements that included the golden wings of a golden Garuda, which is actually a mythical Chinese bird, and its golden horn that represents its stylish beak and expicuous clouds. You got that deal right there. You also see it on the tail, the partial uh, logo on the tail. I'm going to let you see that right now. Check it out. Yeah, that's part of the Heinen Airlines logo right there, as I mentioned there as well, okay? Now, right by the, uh, next to the uh, Heinen Airlines logo that I mentioned earlier, you see the Chinese inscripted writing right there. The Chinese inscripted writing literally means Heinen mm -hmm. Airlines are pronounced as Hainan Hong Kong in Chinese. You also see Heinen Airlines written in English there as well. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Now inside the uh, wing right here, you see the inboard landing lights right there and the triangular pattern right there, the three little dots. Those represent the lights, which I find detailed. Now, looking at these big massive engines here, painted in all red. These are the General Electric Gen X-1B engine that I've used on this particular Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliner aircraft. You also see the details of the engine cones right here. I was painted in blue. You see it in the sawtooth pattern right there. And the purpose of the sawtooth pattern is for noise reduction and improved fuel performance. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this uh, aircraft model around let you see the front angle of these engines and the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. Now you're looking at the front angle of these engines. We see the turbo fan blades right there. And as I mentioned earlier, the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. Okay. And then you got a better visual view of the inboard land lights that I showed you earlier, as well as the bogey gears on the port side featuring the bogey gear struts, as well as the gear doors there as well. Now you're looking at these engines on the starboard side featuring the end strikes there and the turbo fan blade spin over here as well. Perfect. And then you see the inboard land lights right here on the starboard side as well as the bogey gears, the bogey gear struts, and the gear doors on the starboard side as well. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, we got a bare visual of the pilot escape hatch door, the customized uh, cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, as well as the nose cone. Then you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, as well as the nose gear lights inside the nose gear doors as well. So with that said, I'm going to take it back to the um, port side because there's more information to share with you over there as well. Let's roll. And behind these Gen X 1B engines here, you got a better visual view of the bogey gears here on the uh, port side as well as the bogey gear struts and the gear doors displayed there as well. Now looking at the rake wing tips here on the port side, how it's curved off here, you see there. Featuring the red navigation light right there on the edge of the rake wing tip there as well. Awesome. Now you're looking at the registration ship number above the windows if you're near the rear of the aircraft, B-6998. Registration ship number B-6998. This is the 9th Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft that entered the Heinen Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on December 16, 2016 and was delivered to Heinen Airlines on January 22, mm -hmm. 2017 as the airline unveiled its special all-red livery shortly after it arrived from the Boeing 787 plant facility in North Charleston, South Carolina on January 22, 2017 
only to be painted in the special Kung Fu Panda livery, which was unveiled four days later on January 26, 2017, as Heinen Airlines collaborated with DreamWorks Animation as well as Boeing to feature the Kung Fu Panda film franchise on six of their Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliners that was delivered in 2016 and 2017. As this aircraft was also the second Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft to actually be painted in the specialized Kung Fu Panda livery. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft on the port side, you see the all red tail here with the Heinen Airlines partial logo displayed here on the tail as I mentioned you earlier. Okay, now you're looking at the uh, back of the aircraft where you see the strobe light right here by the horizontal stabilizer. And then you see the... Okay, you have, now you see the APU exhaust which stands for Zero Air Power Unit Exhaust Hole right here which is very detailed right there. Now you're looking at the Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliner from the rear view angle. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the uh, starboard side. You see the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door, the partial red trade ship number on there, 6998, the pedal tube and static force right there, the nose cone, as well as the uh, windshield wipers and the customized cockpit windows the Poscape hatch door, the Heinen Airlines logo, as well as Heinen Airlines inscripted in Chinese. There's the uh, front cargo container door right there as well. Now you're looking at the center of the aircraft, as I mentioned here, that's the Heinen Airlines title inscripted in Chinese, as well as scripted here in English. You see the inboard landing light here. You see the General Electric 1B engines there. Very detailed, the, the sawtooth pattern as well as the engine cones and then there's the bogey gear here on the starboard side there as well as as well as the bogey gear doors there as well now you're looking at the rake wingtips here on the starboard side featuring the green navigation light displayed on the edge of the rake wingtip here on this side here as well now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft on the starboard side we see the cargo container door the rear cargo container door what have you the registration ship number as well as the partial Heinen Airlines logo here displayed on here on the tail, as well as the strobe light near the APU exhaust system. Here it is, check it out. There. All right, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in detail, I'm gonna allow you to see one feature, which is the rolling gears, which they do roll, check it out. It also tilt tilting by itself and the nose gear swivel as well see that okay so with that said allow me to show you the aerial birds out view of this aircraft all right let's check it out okay we're gonna start at the aerial birds eye view we can see the uh, front of the aircraft the nose cone which is right here the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers which is right there the Poscape hatch door See the uh, emergency escape hatch door number one, along with the any collision beacon light, which is right there. See, and you see the uh, Heinen Airlines titles on both sides of the aircraft, along with its logo. You see the Heinen Airlines title on both sides there as well, and their high frequency antenna here, and that little hump there that is called the satellite communications antenna there. Then there's another uh, emergency escape hatch door right there, along with the ADF and antennas in 3D. And that's the Wi-Fi box right there. A couple more antennas there, along with the emergency escape hatch door number three. And then there's the tail right there. And then there's the horizontal stabilizers here and here. And those little dots you see here on the horizontal stabilizer, as well as over here as well. Those are the luminary lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings. No wing walkway, but you have the flaps, slats, ailerons, and spoils, what have you. You get close enough to see the warning information here, right there. And there she is the uh, Gen X 1B engines right there with the engine strike right there painted in red. There's the registration ship number along with the fuel dump valve here and here. And then there's the rake wing tip on this aircraft. And let's check the other side. Over here as well, no wing walkway. You got the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you. You see the warning information right there, real close. There's the engines here, the engine strike. You 
come down here you see the Hainan Airlines inscripted in Chinese there as well as the fuel dump valve here and the right wing tip on this aircraft model on this side here as well okay now we're looking at the uh, undercarriage belly of this aircraft we see the nose cone here I don't know what that is right there but there's the nose closed nose gear door as well as the open nose gear door and the nose gear you come right here there's the anti-collision beacon light right there there's the hole where the stand goes in at a couple more antennas there and then there's the APU housing though it ain't there but that's where it goes and there's the horizontal stabilizers underneath let me check out the gears here to a little bit okay one point you see the engine right there how it's detailed there all right the engine cone right there in blue see the registration ship number along with the fuel dump valve here and here and there as well as the rake wing chip. let's check on this side folks the gears over here perfect on point the engine there as well very detailed the Hainan Airlines title inscripted in Chinese as well as the fuel dump valve here and here as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft as well Now, since I'll show you the aerial bird's eye view here, as well as the undercarriage belly view here in detail here, now I'm going to put it on that stand that I showed you earlier. So, no further ado, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Okay, finally got this model on the stand. You're looking at this model displayed in a takeoff landing position here. Now, you're looking at the front of the aircraft model in a takeoff landing position from the front view angle with the nice little custom model stand there. Now you're looking at this model displayed in the takeoff landing position here on the starboard side in the all rear living this nice little aircraft. And finally looking at this model from the tail cam angle. Okay, before I take this model off the stand, I got in this position for a reason. And the reason is uh, I'm gonna take off the gear, starting with the front nose gear right here. And they are magnetic and detractable. The gears here on the port side there as well as the bogey gear here on the starboard side there okay so with that said i'm gonna let you see this model at a different angle without the gears check it out now you see the Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamline in the all rear livery displayed in flight mode you see here without the gears now you got one or two options from this point on option number one is you want to continue to display it like this without the gears that's fine these little gear replacement doors inside this little packet here with the two little two picks that's the purpose of these gear replacements is to display your models with or without the gears or you just do like i do just keep the gears on there in the flight and take off position it's more value to me so that's why i choose to keep mine on there so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and put these gears back on this model take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model with it okay now let's check out the seat configuration, okay? The Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner seats 289 passengers in a two-class configured cabin layout. Here's the breakdown area from rows 11 to 17, which will be from here to here. You have 30 business class flatbed seats. However, on the side note, there's no row 13 and 14 on this aircraft. And then you have from rows 31 to 60, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft you have an additional 259 economy class seats which brings a total of 289 seats and finally Heinen airlines currently employs their boeing 787-9 stretch dreamliners on routes from beijing capital to boston chicago o'hare ganjao las vegas san jose california toronto calgary Heiko, ohad manchester seattle shanghai pudong and shizing and from Changsha to Los Angeles, from Haiko to Beijing Capital, from Shanghai Pudong to Boston, Brussels, Seattle, Tel Aviv, Israel, and Beijing Capital, and from Chengdu to Los Angeles and New York JLK, which will commence on October 26, 2017. Well, folks, this concludes this model review. Please rate and subscribe. I'd like to know if you got this model, or you plan on getting this model, or you plan on getting the one that I displayed earlier. It's still available on eBay. 
So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.